Guys, I need to show you this. We have to have a look at Santorini again and the earthquakes because I noticed something. I was just quickly looking at the earthquake list and just to see what's going on there because things seem to calm down. And I was planning to make a video about the unrest at Campi Flegre because I found out something very, very concerning. But then I looked at Santorini and I'm like, hey, wait a minute. So look at the recent earthquakes. We see that blinking pink dot here. That is just on March 24th and that's another 2.4 that just happened as we speak. So we still see some earthquakes in this area where we had that massive earthquake swarm, but that's not what I want to talk about. Of course, we had on the 22nd another 4.0 earthquake also still here. So something is still going on. Is there still magma flowing from the magma chamber underneath Santorini? But what I wanted to show you is also on the 20 second when we had that magnitude 4 earthquake. Um, look at these three dots here. I'll click on them. They're right underneath Santorini. Magnitude 1.8, very shallow, two kilometers only. Then we have this one here, magnitude 2.5, only two kilometer, kilometers depth. And then we have another 1.9. And the thing is, look at the timing of these earthquakes. That's what I was surprised. So 7.23 a.m. Then let's look at this one. 7.27 a.m. Only a few minutes difference. And here 7.45 a.m. So within a very short period of time, we see these three earthquakes there that form, I wouldn't say cluster, it's only three earthquakes, but it is something that was catching my eye because I haven't seen it in that way during that massive earthquake swarm that was happening here. So why is it rumbling in this area here? We know there is a magma chamber underneath and then we had the 4.0 that was in the afternoon so at 8 53 was that in the same area no it wasn't but i don't know this is might be just a coincidence but i thought i'll show you this and let me know what you think is this something where you'd say hmm wait a minute because you know it's not that the earthquakes have completely disappeared and we just heard from, I would say, the tourism industry of Santorini. They're basically saying, we don't believe the volcano will erupt. They're preparing for the tourist season, of course. They probably expect that the summer will be a little bit different. And yeah, the volcano... Um, that earthquake swarm, it wasn't really hinting that maybe a Santorini, underneath Santorini, we would see a big destructive eruption. They were worried about a bigger earthquake, but you know, where this, where these earthquakes were traveling and wondering, it was magmatic. That is now for sure and probably coming from the magma chamber underneath Santorini. So why is it still rumbling? The 4 range, also the 2.5 underneath the island. There could still be something. For those of you that follow my channel on a regular basis and other volcanoes, you know that means something. Santorini says they have safety plans in place for the tourists and also... Greece's tourism minister has done something in show of support for Santorini's travel industry. The minister has met with local authorities and business representatives just a few days ago, and she has conveyed a message of optimism. And she said, quote, Santorini is one of the world's leading tourist destinations. Well, more than 3.5 million people flood the island every year. And she says, a land of unique beauty, rich cultural heritage and exceptional hospitality. That's what she gave as a statement. And she said, despite the earthquake activity of the recent month, it was really intense. The island was gradually returning to normalcy or is gradually returning. She said, 
that the state has responded with a plan guaranteeing the safety of residents and visitors. That is brave because I don't think you can guarantee the safety of people that live on a volcano, on the crater of a volcano. So what's sticking out there out of the water that forms the island of Santorini is actually the edges of a crater of a volcano that can be devastating, that had devastating eruptions. So to say that, I think um, she's fooling herself and she's fooling the people who believe that because you never know. We could, I'm not saying volcanic eruption, we could see a bigger earthquake again and, and then it's also, you can't guarantee safety. There has been so much talk that the buildings, that the hotels, that these pools are not safe, that some are built illegally, not too cold, and that because of this massive, massive weeks long shaking and intense shaking with higher earthquakes, the cliff sides are becoming brittle and could cause landslides. And then these buildings could slide down with them. So I don't think they had enough time yet to really look at all these structures and to declare them safe. And then she says the sentence. Scientific committees continue to closely monitor the situation and the required prevention and security measures had already been implemented. And we've just heard from a very, very high ranking INGV member. He says, well, you know, closely monitoring does not guarantee safety at all. Well, we're monitoring it and we're telling you now something's happening, right? That's what it basically means. So this is just this official blah, blah. So she said, infrastructure has been reinforced. That was fast. I have my doubts that, you know, all the scientists that pointed out these cliffside buildings, I don't think you can reinforce that this quickly. She says, civil protection plans have been updated and targeted action to support the tourism sector is being implemented. It sounds good, but I would like to hear more details and in the list with the buildings that have been secured. And she further says the messages from the global tourism market are encouraging, confirming Santorini remains a safe and well-organized destination ready to welcome visitors from around the world. What can I say, guys? I mean, you have to do your own research if you go on vacation, obviously, because a lot can happen even if you're in the Aegean Sea and, or in the Mediterranean. There's, there's more tsunamis than most people are aware of, volcanoes, earthquakes. It's really, really bad what could happen. Underwater volcanoes, not to forget those. And the mayor of Santorini has also told the news that the earthquake caused no damage, but um, he says that still preventative works are underway to mitigate landslides in certain areas, such as those seen on roadsides, like in other places of the world. And he said he expects 2025 to be a very good year for visitors as they should be able to move around the island a little easier. What does he mean? Probably because it's more empty, right? And he says students of geology and architecture are especially welcome. Well, they could help them to find out what's going on. He says, we're interested in hosting visitors with specific areas of interest. Oh, are they turning Santorini into a like a hop, a, a, like go on vacation, but also study the problem. So while you're swimming in your cliffside pool, you can try to find out whether you, this will collapse down the cliff or not. I, I'm just kidding, guys, but this is what it sounds a little bit. That would be a good idea for the Blue Lagoon in Iceland as well, right? While you're swimming in the Blue Lagoon and you're on top of the magma chamber, you could study whether this magma chamber, once it empties out, could collapse. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it's interesting to hear that. So they're interested in hosting visitors with specific areas of interest. Makes sense. If you study volcanology or seismology, it's interesting. He says, the mayor, Santorini is, after all, the result of great geophysical forces. That's a nice way to say it, yeah? Of um, devastating volcanic eruptions with a caldera collapse, tsunamis and stuff like this, wiping out cultures. 
Uh, yeah, so this is a nice way to, to say it. Great. Um, geophysical forces, I would just say scary geophysical forces. And then they're kind of lashing out at scientists that did speak out about the seismic activity and the potential of a powerful quake because she says they don't have data to back up their claims and they have triggered concern amongst some locals. Well, this has happened already in the 1950s. There was a 7.6 or 7.7 .7 that was followed by a 6.9 and even triggered a small volcanic, volcanic eruption on Nea Kamini, that little island in the middle of the of the crater. And you see that's all lava flows and black. And, and so um, I think uh, there was definitely reason for concern. And it was not just one scientist, it was quite a few scientists I have reported about this. So it is a very active volcano. It is. And when this strong earthquake swarm began that has rattled the island and really scared people, many believe that, for example, Colombo, the underwater volcano that is very close to Santorini, could erupt. So the mayor says... We do not believe the volcano will erupt. Let me say that in capital letters. But then she says, but this is a very active volcano that needs to be monitored. So she says one thing, but then she says that thing, right? And it's not, you can't predict whether a volcano will, will erupt or not. Maybe you have time to give a warning a few hours before it will. The locals feel reassured because right now there's scientists on the island and they continue to study Colombo as well and the Nea Kamemi volcano in the middle of Santorini, so to speak. It's also a popular visitor attraction. And uh, the mayor says, we always keep the locals informed. An interesting quote from a wine researcher and journalist. She's based in Athens and she was visiting Santorini because Santorini is known for its white wine and like the mineral undertones effect. Yeah, it's all volcanic there, right? So the writer, her name is Eleni Kefalopopoulou. And she said, if it's my time to go, I'd much rather it happen in Santorini where I might be discovered thousands of years later, Pompeii style, rather than be run over by a car in Athens. So that's, that's interesting. I'll close this video with this, guys. I have just released an update about Campi Flegri, but also about Iceland. Check out these two here in the end screen. And I hope to see you soon. And if you want to support the channel, there's links in the, the description. You could become a supporting monthly member and you're also getting something for that. I'm releasing behind the scenes video and private stuff. Um, for you guys and if you'd like to support me with coffees that all goes towards the vet bills of my sick dog right now go to my buymeacoffee.com slash silky site the link is also in the description of this video so thanks guys don't forget to subscribe and like the video and i'll see you very, very soon click here on the end screen thank you bye bye